All right, I now wanna move past the basics and draw my own conclusions about the role of the Miss America protest uh, in challenging patriarchy in the United States. Primary sources, which are immediate firsthand accounts of a topic from people who actually had a direct connection with it are the best way to do this. Primary sources could include laws, original documents, newspaper articles by reporters who witnessed an event or uh, quote people who did, photographs, letters, speeches, diaries, interviews, videos, audio that captures an event, all of those are primary sources. So here we go. Your job is to type out the steps that I take to conduct primary source research on my topic. Here we go. First, type in a specific combination of keywords into Google to narrow the search a bit. Miss America pageant protest primary source. So hopefully only primary sources will come up. Second, I check out what um, my search results are and make a choice about where to start. So what do I see here? I see a CNU library guide. Okay, this is a university library guide. Sutori.com, I don't know what that is. Um, Morningsidesetter.org, lessons. Well, this looks like a teacher's lesson plan, someone who works at this center. I see, oh, I see an EDU. This is from a university. And I also see another EDU. This is from a university. Um, these are likely from a university library. That looks pretty awesome. I'll definitely check those out. I'm going to scroll to the top and start with this library guide from this Christopher Newport University. So here I am, fourth. I'm going to see what's there. Is it a primary source? Well, this is cool. I have these images from the actual photographs from the actual protest. I could totally analyze these um, for one of my sources. Check out their posters. Check out what's happening. This would be really great. But I'm not done yet. The fifth thing I want to do is follow the leads on this site before I'm done with this site. Um, sometimes there will be leads. So I see here a, another set of uh, links that show me other online sources about the Miss America protests. Um, I could check these out and sometimes I'm gonna hit gold. Sometimes through these, I'm gonna hit a dead end. Both of those are part of the process. I'm gonna show you an example of hitting gold um, and hitting not so gold. So I'm gonna open this first source and check out what it is. Um, wow. I have here direct footage audio um, of Miss Ohio talking about the 1968 protest. That's cool. I definitely want to listen to that. I go back. I'm going to click the next link. I check out what it is. I do a little reading. Okay, this is cool. This is um, a radio episode by WNYC Public Radio, 2017. That means this is definitely on topic and relevant, but it's not a primary source. So of course I could listen to it and learn, but I'm on the hunt for primary sources, so I'm not gonna do that right now. Final thing I'm gonna do um, is be sure to bookmark or copy and paste and save this link because the worst most frustrating thing when you're doing research is to find like a piece of gold a really awesome source and then not be able to find it or access it again later so make sure you save what's good jot down those steps feel free to rewatch this go for it 